Well, we've all done it. Hell, even I've done it multiple times after an injury or an incredibly hard workout. Ice the hell out of those inflamed, achy muscles. Well, research says that's not a very good idea, that icing those sore muscles may possibly hinder growth and the healing process. Now, if you want to know a much quicker and better way to shorten the pain associated with those brutal workouts, watch until the end. I'm going to give you some of my favorite tricks that work extremely well. Other sources also say icing may not help with pain or the duration of. A typical approach to muscle injury is rest, ice, compress, and elevate. Ice, of course, being the most commonly applied, regardless of the type of muscle injury, but there is little known information about long-term effects of icing until now. Welcome back, health nerds. I'm your host and your nerd, Stephen Ayala, and if you hadn't yet, please hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. This is a free way to support this channel. Today's sponsor is Cellgenics, liver regenics hosting eight of the world's regenerative superfoods and enhanced with plant stem cells. And as always, if you want to know more information about today's video topic and supplement, you will find it in the description box below. Icing is used to suppress inflammation. However, inflammation is response to tissue injury. This is one of the body's healing mechanisms. This comes to be understood as a valid response for tissue regeneration. In other words, suppressing inflammation with ice may also inhibit the body's attempt to repair itself. We must break down muscle to build muscle, so being sore after a workout may just be the validation we need to know that we put in a full day of work. Kobe University scientists used electrocontraction on mice leg muscles, exerting strong force during the stimulation. And then the mice were gathered and ice was put on top of their skin three times per day for 30 minutes. This continued until two days after the injury. Now what the researchers discovered is that the smaller muscle regeneration in the muscle fibers were found in the icing group and a greater number of larger fibers in the non-icing group. This revealed that skeletal muscle regeneration may be delayed as a result of icing. So what can we do to help our bodies repair from achy inflamed muscles and injuries? I think the most obvious answer here is rest and recover. This is probably one of the hardest things for some athletes to do, but also the most important. So if you're an athlete who cannot stay away from the gym more than a day, then an active recovery a day or two later, keeping the blood flowing to those sore areas. Also, one of my favorite things to do before and after a workout is foam roll. This is much cheaper than paying for a masseuse, but it's not completely out of the question. Now, if that's not going to break the bank and you know a very good masseuse, then by all means, have at it. And of course, an adequate diet and optimal sleep also on the top of that list. The next time your muscles are screaming at you, try one of these methods. As always, thanks for watching. Remember, knowledge is power, health is wealth. See ya.